guys. So it has been quite a long day today, but we are reaching the end of it. And what my favorite thing to do at the end of the day is wash my face. So I thought I would show you guys what I do and what products I use. So let's do it. So my face is looking a little bit rough. Obviously it has been over 12 hours. So the first thing that I like to do to prep everything is wash my hands. Now that my hands are all clean, it is time to now wash my face. So I personally like to dampen my face with warm water and through that I am opening my pores. Whew. So now that my face is all damp, I'm going to now go in with my Epion's Lytic Gel Cleanser. And I like to go in like up, upwards motion. I heard that it is good for you and good for your skin to do that. So I'm all about that. So now that I look absolutely insane, I'm gonna go now rinse my face with cold water to close the pores. Pat drying is better than swiping. It's less harsh on your face. Makes sense. I'm going to now apply my toner. This is an Obagi New Derm AM PM toner. And I'll just like put that all over this cotton pad. This toner is literally so refreshing and it's really hydrating. Some toners that I've used, like Witch Hazel, dries my skin. Me and dry skin, we have bad blood. After toner, I go in with my SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. What I do is put a couple drops and gently pat it into my skin. I've learned by doing a Korean skincare routine, Essence is the heart of Korean skincare and adds moisture back to your skin after pretty much cleansing everything away. So the serum that I'm using at the moment is this Histolab EGF Complex Ampule. And I recently got my face microneedled and this serum helps with helping my skin heal faster. And I'll apply the serum directly onto my skin. And then I'll just smooth it into my skin. So I'll take the excess that's in my hand and I'll rub it. And then what I'll do is gently pat it into my skin and let it sink in. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna take out my trusty Mercy bag, which has some magical products in it. And I use this Tretinoin Refisa cream and I mix it in with Hydroquinoin, which is a skin lightener and blending cream. So what I'll do is I will pour like a little dot onto my fingertip. Maybe more than a little dot. So I'll take one dot and then I'll go in and I'll sort of like eyeball it. And then I'll rub it and mix it in like so. And then I will put a light layer over my whole entire skin. So I feel like Tretinoin and this Hydroquinoin combo has really changed in my skin. My skin has just appeared so much smoother. My pores are so much smaller and it's just such a game changer. Make sure that you don't put any of this on your lip. I've literally made every mistake with the Hydroquinoin, doing everything wrong, of course. And my lips became so dry, it was a nightmare. Cool, so now that that is all applied onto my face, I'm gonna let the Hydroquinoin Trenoin Cream really sink into my face before I put on the moisturizer. So let's give it five minutes. So now it has been five minutes. So now I'm going to apply my Moisturizer. This is the Augustinus Bader, Bader, I don't know how to say it, the cream. And I'll put one full pump and half a pump. Put 
one on that cheek, one on that cheek, forehead, temple, and chin. And then I will gently work that in. Last step, I apply this Zio Skin Health by Zayn Obaji Intense Eye Cream. And I will apply like a little amount on both eyes and I'll like tap it in. All right, you guys, that is it. I am fully glowy and now I am ready for bed. Good night and spread peace and love.